everyone, welcome back to Samuel's Audiobooks, and if you're new to my channel, welcome to Samuel's Audiobooks. I am so glad to have you with us as we continue our playthrough of Nancy Drew, Message in a Haunted Mansion. Ugh, oh, it always does that. Let us load our game. And it is 10 p.m., which means it is time to snoop around the house. No one can find us. Ooh, a woman crying. It's coming from the vent, is it? It's stuck. Ah, so we need something else for this. All right. Let's go ahead and head downstairs. That's creepy. But there's no one there, right? Aha, river. And hidden beneath a river of colors. Hey, Swanee River, that's right here in Florida. It's nice. I have a mention of my home state. I love Florida. <gasps> a projector in a day smoke machine. She staged it. Well, I mean, we already figured that, didn't we? It's stuck. Everything is stuck in this house. God. <gasps> well, would you look at that? A key. Manifested. Whee! Did we look at everything in here? I believe we did. What could this mysterious key be to? Where else would we need to snoop? Oh yes, we're Rose. Hmm, repair dumb waiter. And... Ooh, it's crazy. Ah, Chandler and Chandler and Terry. Dear Rose, what a pleasure it was to meet you and Abby. As we have discussed, I am extremely interested in examining the collection of old books that came with the house. They will help me considerably with my research of Victorian antiques. In exchange, I will be more than happy to consult you on renovations. Victorian homes pose many difficulties, both structurally and aesthetically, especially for an amateur renovator like yourself. My expertise in the my expertise in this field can save you both time and money. I will come over tomorrow at noon to show you the roof tiles I found for you. I also found a good deal on scaffolding equipment. Lewis Chandler. That was actually a pretty good Lewis voice, if I don't say so myself. Isn't it funny how the other half of the room is exactly the same? <laughs> is there a... Or is it actually... <gasps> it's exactly the same. <laughs> That's funny. So her interactive literally... Let me... Yep. There's a... Is that the same painting? Oh, it's not the same painting. But still... <laughs> it's a lot to say. Spook. Whoa, creepy. <gasps> Whoa. That was creepy. Wait, can we do it again? Nope. We snooped down here. Anything here? Whoa, that moved. I already looked at all that. Got the jump scare over here. Um, 
There's not that much we can do. What in the world could this key be? Well, uh, I don't want to disturb her. Yeah, Abby's sleeping. <gasps> Get her. <gasps> Speaker. Anything new in here? Aha! Abby Seance faked! Hoax! I think we've done all we can do for today. I hope you're convinced now that the spirits are with us. These ghosts are here to stay. Boop. I found out how you rigged the seance table with a projector. <laughs> that was a pretty good show you gave. Okay, so I staged part of the seance. But that still doesn't mean this place isn't haunted. Seances were very popular during the Victorian era, and I plan to entertain our guests with them. It'll be a great way to promote the place. Are you the ghost who is haunting this place? There's more to this house than you think, Nancy. You probably don't believe me, and with good reason, I admit it. But there are some mysteries in life best left unsolved. I heard someone crying in the hallway. Was that you? I told you the spirits were interested in you. Was it a woman crying? Do you think it was a ghost? Well, it wasn't me crying out there. Have you seen the poem in my room? Oh, I love that poem. Listen, my child, to this story of dreams. How does the rest go? It was there when we bought the place. Hmm, I see. What kind of person is Charlie? He seems to feel bad about all of these mishaps. Ugh, it's clear to me that Charlie's totally responsible for the accidents. Who else could it have been? He's a really nice kid, but he has no idea what he's doing. <laughs> Unfortunately, no Rose doesn't want to fire planet him. Earth. And there's something suspicious about him. Not to be mean, but Abby really seems like she should be in a mental hospital. Let me check my... Only 100 FPS? Really? What do you mean? The other day, I was down in the basement working for over an hour, and suddenly he sneaks up on me. I bet he was down there the whole time, watching me. Do you know much about Lewis? It must be great having your own expert on Victorians. He owns Chandler Interiors, a very reputable antique store. I'm sure his clients will be quite interested in our bed and breakfast once they hear about our resident ghost. You? How long have you known Rose? A couple of years. She has good business sense, but I think she needs to think more about advertising. Otherwise, we're just like all the other B&Bs in this town, and believe me, there's plenty of them. I saw those papers in the parlor. Where did you find them? Right in my room. They're so vintage. I'm going to ask Lewis if he can get me some antique frames for them. Rose and I can use the letters in our historical display. So vintage is something I was not expecting from Is there anything about the house in them? I don't think so. I really didn't go through them that much. I did find this old picture of a woman dressed in men's clothing. I think it was taken in the entryway by the staircase. I sent it to a photographer to have it restored. Hmm. A woman in men's clothing? That sounds strange. I once read that some women back then liked the freedom men's clothing gave them since their lives were so restricted. A man could go anywhere and do almost anything. A woman couldn't. Did the house come with a lot of furniture? There were a lot of pieces and knickknacks left behind, like the books in the study, your bed. I think it was too large to take out of the room. Uh, I'll let you get back to what you were doing. <laughs> Pox Phobiscum. Pox Phobiscum to YouTube. 
and I have no idea what that means. Hello. Hello, Nancy. Sorry about that seance last night. Why couldn't Abby conjure up some helpful spirit? Like an electrician. <laughs> Where did Abby find those papers that are in the parlor? She told me they were in her room. Which surprised me since it was completely empty when we moved in. Now the room you're staying in was crammed with furniture. I think most of it was original with the house. Hmm. How did you find Charlie? He just showed How up one day. How did you find it Charlie? Really odd. I remember Abby and I were in the basement talking about hiring someone to help us. Twenty minutes later, the doorbell rang and there stood Charlie, looking for work. How do you know Lewis? He stopped by one day to introduce himself. He seemed awfully curious about our property. But he's an antique dealer specializing in the Victorian period. He's been extremely helpful advising us on authentic decor. Have you heard of someone named Lizzie Applegate? No, I haven't. How did you meet Abby? She was the drama coach back in River Heights, and we worked on a couple of plays together. My bid on this house was too low, so she pitched in her savings to help me get the place. If it weren't Coming. for Abby, I couldn't have afforded this place. Reading! Just a second. Alright everyone, no problem. I am back. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Don't work too hard. Wait, we can't tell her about the inlay. How's that inlay puzzle coming along? There we go. I finished it. Wonderful. But now I've got something else for you. I set up a ladder upstairs so you can chip off the broken tiles on the hallway ceiling. You'll need to look around for a chisel or paint scraper for the job. I'm not sure where Charlie keeps them. Hmm. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Thanks for your help. Ugh, my chair is not straight. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Wait, she said hallway? Oh, wait. She also said chisel or paint scraper. Ooh, a firebird. Let's just steal that. Oh, it's a paint scraper. Never mind. Whoops. Where am I going? It's hilarious. The tiles aren't actually broken until you get up to them. Secret attic. Oh, I can't do it. <gasps> I can't do it. Dang it. Well, anyway. Cool. <gasps> Another tile. Nice. <gasps> oh, can we fix the dumbwaiter now? I mean, not with the tile. <gasps> iron. That's what we need. We needed an iron, didn't we? Ooh, that's some cramped handwriting. Oh, I can't read that. Ugh, broken old ladder. Oh, it's no key. Ooh, storybook. Nice. Is that it? Alright, back out. <laughs> go far. Okay, now go downstairs, wait. <gasps> what was that? Did you see that? <gasps> She's projecting it again. Creepy. Go downstairs. Ooh, nice. Wait, now let's go back upstairs and see what was on it. Who cut that rope, though? <gasps> the 
the third tile. When the eye of the phoenix is in your hand. I. <laughs> I find it hilarious that the only Chinese symbols in this house. In this house. Wait, did you see that? When oh. the eye of the phoenix is something. in your hand. Are they actually going to use that for like room service? Wait, okay. Oh yeah, we should have uh... How are the tiles coming along? I'm all finished, but you should know what I found. I'm sure it's very interesting. But unless it's really important, I've got other things to worry about. Let's see. If you're any good at fixing things, there's a dumbwaiter in the hallway that's not working. Oh, I already fixed it. Sort of. You have? Well then, I don't have anything for you to do right now. Why don't you take a break? There are a lot of nooks and crannies to explore. Maybe someone else could use your help. Hmm. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Bye, Nancy. Bye. Hey, Nancy, I see you survived Abby's seance. Man, that Valdez guy sure sounded creepy. Have you ever heard of him? Valdez, I mean. I've heard of a Diego Valdez. He was a wealthy rancher who lived in the 1800s. Yeah, I just read a book on him for my history class. Was he from San Francisco? No, he was sort of a hermit and never married. But he was extremely generous. He gave away thousands of dollars. Have you met Louis Chandler? What do you know about him? He's an antique dealer, I, I think. I guess he does consulting work for Rose, like on Victorian furnishings and stuff. Can you tell me more about the accidents? I'd really rather not talk about that right now. How do you like working for Abby? She's not bad. She can be a little weird. I think she gets on Rose's nerves sometimes. What do you mean? She always does a disappearing act whenever Rose needs her to do some work. And I think Rose is sort of had it, you know? <laughs> Abby thinks the house is haunted. Do you? I'm not sure. Let's just say I wouldn't rule it out. But that's Abby's department, not mine. Have you seen the poem in the Chinese room? Yeah, I've never seen anything like that. It almost sounds like there's a hidden message in there, you know? <laughs> yeah, no duh. I'll let you get back to your renovation. See you around. Okay, we talked to Rose, Abby, him. Oh yeah, let's go put these tiles in. Before, what's his name? Comes back. When does he come in? Noon? <gasps> oh no! Oh, it's just now 11. Just now, 11 o'clock. Okay, we have one hour. It won't fit. Hey, nice. Listen, my child, to this story of dreams. Oh. Oh, I was wondering why there were separate files for the poem. It's because of every time you click on Hansi's surface. Oh, that makes sense now. Who? Oh. What is he doing? Hmm. Lewis is up to something. Oh, he actually took down one of the books. That's it. Lewis, are you in there? I'll be right there. He's hiding something in his briefcase. He just stole that book. What a little thing. Mm. Okay. Let's go look at the book. Remember, I told you to write down 46534868? Use it now. Hmm. Gumbo foo? What's that? Miss Applegold. Miss Applegate. Golden Gardenia. <gasps> oh. Argentine Frasers. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Friends, stay tuned for danger. We have to look at this before he comes back. Hidden treasure. Ooh. Let's get out of here before he catches us. Oogie. Nice. Um. Alright, what time is it? In game. Hmm. Hmm, what's... All right. Whoops, not that. Yeah! Now back to the desk in the attic. Uh huh. Is there more to this music than what I'm seeing? Yes. There's something hidden here. Actually, Nancy, you don't have to figure out what's in the music. You can just randomly. Well, I'm gonna do that right after this. Oops. know that the beginning is more difficult than it seems. There's beginning. Nice. Okay. So there is actually a code in the music and it's stuck. You're supposed to play the piano and get some special thing, but I've never been able to do it. I don't know if it's just in my game. But anyway, the thing is, spell Diego on the stairs. So let's do that. Diego coins false floor. Let's take that. Put this. It's a letter to Diego from E. Now let's go back to our room. I don't know if we can trigger this yet. Let's at least try. Yep. Whee! Leave the mansion now. Okay. Let's go talk to Lewis. Oh, let's not go talk to Lewis. <gasps> hurry, 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 hurry. Fire, fire, fire. talk to everybody in the house and none of them can figure out what caused the fire maybe i should take lewis's advice and cut my losses before it's too late who what advice he has a client who might want to buy the place someone with more experience and money to finish all of the renovations what did the fire department say they think the fire was caused by sparks from the fireplace since it doesn't have a screen and i specifically told charlie to buy one how could he have forgotten? No, I am bound and determined to stick with this house no matter what. Nothing can drive me away. I don't care if it's fires, earthquakes, or Mr. Valdez with his gang of ghosts. <laughs> Excuse me for prying, but why did you spend so much money to insure the house against fire? For protection. I've put my entire life savings into this house, and if it goes up in smoke, 
I'll lose everything. True. Have you found any rainbow designs in the house? Rainbows? No. Not that I can remember. Do you think Charlie is responsible for these accidents? Abby thinks he is, but I'm not sure. I really trust in him, and I'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. Does Charlie live around here? He told me he just moved here from Iowa, but doesn't have a place of his own yet. He said he's staying with friends. Do you know what gumbo foo means? No. Not that I can remember. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Goodbye. Hmm. Nice plot twist. Let's talk to Charlie. Hello. Hey, Nancy. Hey, there's been another accident. You've got to believe me. I didn't have anything to do with it. I just hope Rose doesn't blame me for this one. Rose mentioned the fire screen you were supposed to get. But I did buy it. Lewis told me that it was the wrong type and said he'd get another one. So I returned it. <gasps> and that's all there is to it? Everyone thinks I'm causing these accidents because I was always the last one there. But I had nothing to do with them. I can tell you this. There's something unusual going on in this house. Had you come across any hidden passageways down here? You mean like a trap door leading to a room with skeletons or something? No, I haven't. Who was the last person you saw in the parlor before the fire? I've been working mostly in the basement, but I think I saw Abby go through those papers right before the fire. I'll let you get back to your renovation. Thanks. Hmm. I should wait until he leaves. Okay. He's not here. How is he not here? It's past one o'clock. And why is he not here? Strange. Ah, <gasps> somebody burned her letters? No. Who would do that? Wait. Weren't they over here? What? Who did that? It's crazy. Oh yeah, let's call Emily. Emily Foxworth speaking. Hello, it's Nancy Drew. Hi, Nancy. How's your case coming along? What do you know about the Bandit's Treasure? Bandit's Treasure? Oh, you mean the play! The rep did a season where they performed old local plays, including the Bandit's Treasure. I've never seen it, but I hear the music is fantastic. Hmm. Have you heard of an antique dealer named Louis Chandler? Nope, never heard of him. Have you heard of an actress, Lizzie Applegate? Oh, sure, she was a good friend of Lotta Crabtree, another popular actress in the late 1800s. As I recall, she opened up a big hotel. What was it called? The Hotel Mandrake or the Oriental? I forget. Was it in this neighborhood? Is it still around? Oh no, this one was downtown. It was very big, but I think it burned down. Have you ever come across hidden rooms in Victorian mansions? No, but I've read that many houses were only partially rebuilt after the Great Earthquake, closing off damaged rooms from the rest of the house. Do you know what the words gumbo foo mean? Hmm, sounds Chinese to me. Why don't you ask everyone what they think it means? It may have something to do with the house. In the meantime, I'll ask my friends about it. Gumbo foo. Do you know where Yerba Buena Town is? That's what San Francisco was called back during the Spanish colonial period, but no one calls it that anymore. Tell me about the Spanish and San Francisco. Oh, you could write a book on that. The Spanish were the first Europeans to settle this area during the 1700s, and it stayed that way until after the Mexican-American War when it was handed over to the United States. It couldn't have happened at a better time because gold was discovered outside the city not more than two years later. Hmm. Ooh, with all of that gold around, I'd imagine there's a lot of buried treasure in this town. Yeah, you'd think that, but I've never heard of any in San Francisco, except for Treasure Island out in the bay. But that's named after the book, not some legend. Hmm. I should get going. Goodbye, Emily. Goodbye, Nancy. Goodbye, everyone. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Oops. Hi, Emily. 
It's Nancy. Listen, my dear, I'm off to a photo shoot in Mexico, even though I don't know why they're sending me down there again. I just got back a couple of months ago, but who knows what goes on in my editor's mind, always thinking of new ways to make my life miserable. <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yes, I'll find out what that phrase means before I go, okay? Okay, good luck. <laughs> she is a piece of work. Is this here now? Boss! You better be here! He's not. <laughs> it's literally, why isn't he here? He's noon to five. You should be here. You have become completely um, distracted by all of the spiritualism <gasps> stuff. I think you were in the parlor. They're arguing. The burning candles are using that flash paper. Well, excuse me for trying to find some ways to promote this place. It's good business sense. Well, I guess we won't have to worry about advertising if the mansion burns down. You've given up. You want the mansion to burn to the ground. That way you won't have to worry about losing your investment. You'll just collect the insurance. How dare you? Are you accusing me of fraud? I'm sorry, Rose. I don't know. It's just... All these accidents and now this? I know you're dedicated to this house. I'm sorry for doubting you. Let's just finish up these curtains. I think the stress of the last few weeks has finally gotten the better of us. Hmm. So they're arguing. Why did I come in here? <laughs> What's set? What time is it? Yeah, it's only. Oh, it's six. It's. It's. No, it's two. I read the clock backwards. It's 2.30. Charlie gets out at 5. And Abby gets out at 6. So, it'll be perfect. Okay, Charlie. We, we, we. Oh yeah, we already had that jump scare. <gasps> Ooh, we have a light. Nice. <gasps> Ooh. That must be a well. <gasps> it's a double-sided mirror. That's how she did it. Hmm, huh, charm paper. The king of the sky will shine his ray. King. El Diablo. <gasps> Charlie, you bad thing. So when he said live in the house, he wasn't being, it wasn't a mistake. What a little thing. <laughs> Let's go back upstairs. It's not six now. No, it's five, five fifteen. That took fifteen minutes. Man, the end in game time is really. Oh, she's out from three two six. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> wait, is she back in yet? Oh wait, we can't snoop. Oh my god, why did I do that? Uh. 3 p.m. Old West Romances. Nice. He's watching the hallways. Oh, so it's her. 
Mm -mm -mm. Oh, we have a tape. Who has called me forth from the great beyond? <sighs> really? Seriously? <laughs> moon. When the moon sleeps and the sun plays. Nice. Write these symbols. Rat. Ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, boy. <laughs> Another double-sided mirror. Hmm. I should return the spider so Abby doesn't suspect anything. Right. Thank you, Nancy. Oh, right. There's a way to trigger. Just a second, please. Ooh, what's that? Roses. They're dead. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Marjo, half of the brother, brother, brother. Okay, look at the dead roses. Now go talk to Rose. Hello. Why are there dead roses in the parlor? Are they dead again? For some reason, they seem to die right after I buy them. It's strange. I've never seen that happen before. It must be the weather or something. <gasps> Oh, so looking at the roses also triggers this question. Do you know why there's That's a speaker cool. in the air vent? Oh, Abby told me she's rigging up some kind of PA system in here. To tell you the truth, I really can't stand elevator music. <laughs> Are you missing any papers? Funny you should ask. Yes, I did misplace some old letters, but I'm sure they'll show up soon. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Oh yes, we'll have to wait for Lewis to leave, and then we can use this on his computer. I'm cold. And you know we don't have to? Oh wait, can we? I'm so messed up. Oh, it's here. Hi Nancy, what's up? <gasps> Charlie, I know your secret. I know you're living in the hidden room behind the saloon. Please don't tell Rose. I have no place to stay. How did you find the room? I was homeless, camping out in parks. One day I was looking for a place to get out of the rain, so I ducked under some bushes and found this hidden panel that led to the secret room. Nancy, I didn't mean any harm. I just needed a place to live. I really think you should tell Rose, but I'll keep your secret if you help me out. It's a deal, and I will tell Rose. What do you need? What other secrets do you know about this house? I have seen some odd things down here, like Abby's seance. Do you know what the words gumbo foo mean? I'm not sure. I've never heard that before. Okay. I'll let you get back to your renovation. Thanks. And thanks, Nancy, for keeping my secret. I'll tell Rose. Okay. I think he's a pretty okay guy. Hello. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Bye, Nancy. Bye. I guess... I guess he didn't tell her yet. That's okay. Hmm. Now I'm blanking on everything I need to do. <laughs> Talk to Abby? Is she here? She's not here yet. Oh, it's four o'clock. Hmm. Oh yeah, Lewis wasn't here yesterday, so we couldn't talk to him. Oh, 
Hello. Ah, Nancy, what a shame to have lost those papers. And to think that we almost lost the house. Rose is very fortunate to have you here. Oh, God. That's a lot of questions. Did you hear anything in the parlor before the fire started? No, I'm afraid not. I'm somewhat isolated here. With these thick walls, I barely hear anything. Were the papers very valuable? Not for my purposes, no. But they must have had some sentimental value. I was wondering whether you knew anything about someone named E. Valdez. E. Valdez. No, I've never heard of that name. But I'll jot it down and let you know if I come across it anywhere. What kind of antique store do you own? It's a gallery, not a store. And it's called Chandler Interiors, specializing in the Victorian period. I have clients from all over the world, and if I don't have what they're looking for, I find it. Was this house once a hotel? That's hard to say. The house has been renovated many times, but several of its original features, such as the saloon and staircase, seem to indicate that it may have been a hotel. Unfortunately, there are no records on this house before 1906. Hmm. Do you know who Lizzie Applegate was? Yes, I certainly do. She was a very popular actress in the late 1800s. She was very generous and left all of her money to the Ladies' Protection Society. Do you know why the fireplace in the parlor didn't have a screen? No, I don't. Mm, no, no, I remember. I, I was to purchase an antique fire screen, but never found a suitable match. I feel just terrible. I must apologize to Rose about this. Do you think Rose should sell the house? I leave that decision up to her. She's put an extraordinary amount of time and money into it, and I'm not sure if she can afford what it'll take to complete the renovations. But whatever her decision, I will assist her however I can. Do you know what gumbo foo means? Where did you hear that? I read about it in a magazine. I see. As I recall, it means house of great books. After the great earthquake, many books and documents were stored in private homes to save them from the fires. Hmm. The Chinese called those houses gumbo fu. I'm not sure I believe you. What was the Ladies' Protection Society? A popular charity in the early 1900s. They helped widows and orphans. Have you seen the poem in my room? Oh, that one. Yes, it's just some cheap Chinatown souvenir. Nah, I don't know. Do you know what a phoenix is? Yes, it's a mythical bird-like creature that builds a nest every 500 years and then sets itself on fire to rise forth reborn from its ashes. It's a very popular symbol in the Bay Area. In fact, there's one on the main staircase. Do you think Charlie is doing a good job? Certainly. He's rough around the edges, but he's reliable and learns very quickly. He's just what Rose and I need. I won't keep you any longer. Good day. Maybe we'll try Emily again? You've reached Emily. Wait for the beep and talk to the machine. <laughs> hmm. What time is it? Is it six yet? Nope, it's only four. Wait, not there. Not there. I'm glad you dropped by. You know, I wanted to tell you that you'll be alone in the house for a while. Everyone is going to the Winter Festival, and Charlie's studying for finals. I also took down one of the tapestries in your room for dry cleaning, and what was the other thing? Oh, a messenger dropped off a letter for you. I put it in your room. Mm, thank you. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Don't work too hard. Nice. To our room. Go now. No. Yes. Golden wonder. <gasps> Yay. Here we go. 
Hold on, let me go get my paper. I don't have the strategy guide. Although I probably should start collecting this. Okay. Rat. Ox. Tiger. Rabbit. Dragon. Snake. Horse. Goat. Monkey. Rooster. Dog. Boar. You are a boar. <laughs> Child? Beginning. Daughters. Four. Eye. Fire. Moon. King. River. Gold. Diego Valdez and Elizabeth Applegate. Black onyx necklace. Something's missing here. This. for the Easter egg and the end. <laughs> That's why we waste time on the silly Easter egg. Ooh. Hello. Okay, look. Well, how did that not... Here's your eye. And it's a rainbow. But before we pay attention to that stuff, let's just get a random Easter egg. Oh, I'm falling and I can't get up. The classic line. But then. Upstairs to the attic. That's the Easter egg. Alright, now for the end of the game. Crowbar in hand. Ooh. Gold! And to think I was standing on it all along. <laughs> Too bad no one will ever find out about it. <gasps> Lewis? I knew it! There must be over a million dollars in here! I've got to stop him before he gets away! Okay, hurry! Nancy, hurry! What? Hey! 
Hey, hey! Get me out of here! That so could have killed Dear him. Bess, I'm just about finished with my renovation work and counting out all of those gold coins. Lewis was behind all of the accidents, hoping to pressure Rose into selling the house so he could find the treasure himself. <gasps> Although Rose and Abby may not have a legal right to the gold, the bank the coins were stolen from will still give them a reward for finding it. The house also has gotten a lot of publicity with all of the news stories, and the place is booked solid for the first month of its opening. I guess a haunted bed and breakfast with hidden treasures is all the rage these days, even if there are no such things as ghosts. Ooh. Uh, I think. See you soon, Nancy. That was so much fun. Okay, I hope you... I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did, and I will see you in the next video, gaming or not. Alright, love you guys so much, thanks for watching. Bye!